thank you all. Thanks for attending for the, the full course of the day. I certainly appreciate that. I'm uh, pleased to be able to pinch hit for Governor Walker today. Um, he's up north and has been visiting and more in the timber industry, somewhat related. Um, so it's nice to be part of the dedication here. I really appreciate the opportunity. And it's really an opportunity for me on two really different levels. My current role at DOA, we're uh, very intricately involved in the building of state facilities. And when you look at the facility that we have here, uh, I want to congratulate my colleagues at DOA, our partners at the university, and all the, uh, the private sector folks that actually built this building. They did a fantastic job, and I think they all deserve a, uh, a great deal of, of, of congratulations for that. I think it'll pay a fitting tribute for years to the people who came together, had the foresight, the collaboration, and the partnerships they, they joined together to make this building a reality. Uh, on that second level of, of my desire to be a part of this today, uh, Mike indicated that I came from the energy industry. Uh, I spent over three decades there. Uh, and it wasn't by accident. Uh, way back when, when I was an idealistic college student here at the University of Wisconsin, uh, became clear to me that energy was one of the key components of the success of any country. It was important. It was motivating work. It still is. And so it's, uh, it's nice to be a part of this. Uh, when you look at our country, we've been blessed with a diverse and very abundant supply of energy. And it's one of the key reasons what we've been as successful as we have as a nation. Uh, that too didn't happen by accident. We had people who were very dedicated, very smart about finding ways to be able to capture energy, extract it, use it, and, and make the, our country as successful as it is. Um, the research that, uh, that they have done in the past is uh, we reap the benefits from today. And I think even if we look back, we don't have to look back that far to find out, to see the, the benefits and the changes that uh, research and development can make in the energy world. I know in having left the utility industry uh, several years ago, if somebody would have predicted to me what it looked like today, particularly from the natural gas perspective, I would have said that's impossible. It's been com turned completely on its head. So you never know when that next evolution is going to come. And it is a very dynamic business. It's a very, a very dynamic science that all of you are, are, are dealing with. Um, and having those the access to those, uh, to those supplies uh, helps make our country, helps our country continue to grow, helps our state continue to grow. But one of the things that I at least have found in my, in my life in the energy world is that it becomes very easy to become very parochial about energy. Uh, it's far too easy to think about, are my lights on? Is my tank full? Is my country's or my state's energy supply secure? Um, not every nation is so blessed as we are. And I think that's one of the great opportunities we have here. The kind of research that will be done here holds the potential to literally change the world. Uh, as energy has been a key component of the success that we've had in this country, it too can be a key success in the developing world. We can look at that from a couple of different perspectives. Uh, certainly, we can look at it from an economic development perspective, a, a more parochial perspective, if you will. To the extent that the developing countries are able to expand their economies, and grow their economies, it creates new opportunities for us here in the United States, us here in Wisconsin, to sell our goods and services into those growing markets in, the, in those developing countries. That, that will expand our opportunities as it expands theirs. With that expansion comes the opportunity for businesses to succeed, to become profitable, and that's a good thing. But we'd also look at it from a more altruistic perspective, that even a little energy, a little amount, for a person in the developing world can make a monumental difference in their lives, change it dramatically. Better health, access to education, better communications, better ways to form uh, greater, larger communities. And maybe it's something as simple perhaps as profound as a longer, more comfortable life. So when you look at it, in short, we can improve the human condition. Can there be any greater calling than that? And that's a wonderful thing that we have the opportunity to do here in this, in this building today. So as we dedicate this building today, and you, you look around at the atrium that we have here, hard not to think big, hard not to think expansive. And that befits a building that has this form, this design, uh, this beauty. But it's more important than that. I think it's more important to think about what will happen here. And that the people that have the innovation, the drive, and the ingenuity to find new ways to, to create and, and harness energy will be important. Uh, so I wish the best of luck to those who will inhabit this building. On behalf of Governor 
Governor Walker, Secretary Hipsch, and all the folks over at DOA and all the state government and all the state of Wisconsin. Godspeed as you pursue this, this most important of missions. Do it well. Thank you.